Okay, welcome everyone. Today is December, is it the 3rd? 3rd, 2022, and this is the Heal Teach Love Australia, New Zealand webinar. My name is Deb Purcell. This is my husband, Rick, and we are here with Philip Barrow. Um, we're here from To Heal Teach Love. Rick and I are healers. He healers. <laughs> <laughs> Been a long day today. You want to do it, Phil? <laughs> no, no, I'm counting on. How about I try to read this because I I suck at trying to do this off the top of my head. Or can I start Rick restate it? Ah, Rick, you do it. <laughs> Where are you at? Right we're here. we're from Heal Teach Love, obviously, and share creators energy. The way uh, I started receiving downloads after I after seeing inside people's bodies and showing their illnesses. We work as a team healing humans and animals. Rick and I share the same higher self. We also see past lives. And if someone is deceiving us, we do three, three free healings. Webinars. And webinars, yeah, sorry. Per month with our, with over. With our colleague, Philip Barrow, got, <laughs> that we <I'll> share. All, <laughs> that. And we share this, we share this information all over Facebook. Everyone is welcome. We are so honored to and delighted to be here and that you are jo joining us today in this event. We hope that we can do more of these in the future. This is from the, the actually, actually this was from our um, um, meditation that we did. And Rick wanted me to use this one instead of the normal one that I do every month. But Rick, Rick uh, received, um, he merged with uh, Father's Energy, Creator's Energy. And that's what started this about five or six years ago. Um, so for those of you that are new, and uh, when Rick merged his energy with creators, I started getting downloads, and that's when I started seeing inside people's bodies, and uh, that's how we became healers. And we are taught by our higher self and the angels, the archangels, and higher beings of light teach us how to do this. And we go from there. They continue to teach us how to what how to heal you. Um, each week that we do these webinars, we I get messages on what's going on inside your bodies and and we get taught how to heal you. That's how we do this. And we do this with Phil. Go ahead, Phil, tell him about you. Sorry, I get, I stumble every time I try and tell you about myself. I'm really uncomfortable doing this. <laughs> so go ahead, Phil. Yeah, uh, thank you, Deb and Rick. Uh, Philip Barrow, healer since I was four or five. I'm not, not quite sure what age. Uh, I've been learning loads of things over the years from my aspects. Uh, I like to give people new knowledge if I can. Uh, recently, I've been uh, using higher dimensional energy from the 5D, which is uh, uh, 22nd chapter Christ Consciousness. Uh, what I'd like to do at the beginning, Deb and Rick, if we can group together and send energy into the group to stop any possible attacks. I think you never know. When we're on this sort of link, you don't know what will happen. So if we, if we all close our eyes for a few minutes, we'll send, me, Deb and Rick, will send energy into the group uh to void of anything it's not our highest good okay so we'll do right now so yeah, she did that code. before we started too so this is good did you well we're doing it again <laughs> <laughs> doing it properly now <laughs> yes <laughs> so okay just a few minutes you might all feel this energy actually especially if you got something from the dot for your good on you all right is that okay mm -hmm. i think we do a grounding at the end as well Wilma, when I ask Wilma to do some light language as we before we begin as well. Thank you, Wilma. Who shattered in a car to na akishna karianeti? Suharna akarti and natushna haki turn a katkish katkariakundia. So chat and turn ye kashish and a kit to cut the gut to ring ye kish cut the gut and gain turn ye akish kudmia. Shuhata and ye katurn akiti and ashna hatia. So nieti. Okuta and what you not to shin the cut into the end of the edge, snoring catatini. So rich are nicker are no at a high natish nut. Blessings. Thank you. Okay, Ryan. Hello. Hello, Ryan. Thank you for the light language, Wilma. Um, yeah, how are you guys going? Good. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I might have picked up something again. I have to turn down this ring light. It's blinding me hold on one second when you're ready I'm, I'm, I'm ready okay yes ryan who'd you pick up you got i see somebody in your left eye wow i don't know 
I just had some trippy dreams, you know? I, I was getting like a, a, a small like headache in your head. Yeah, I had the worst headache yesterday. It was yeah. one of the right year. And it was around when I was around someone. I met someone in the physical. Look, look into the camera again. You actually see somebody in your eye. Oh, so, that's so crazy. Walter. Walter. Oh. Walter. I don't know anyone, Walter. I was around a girl. I was around a guy. So this is a man. Uh, Walter enjoyed the girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you reckon that Walter was in the girl? No, Walter was enjoying your time with the girls. He was living vicariously through you. Whoa, that is so crazy. I just feel like I let things in. I don't know why. Like Walter is uh, it. Walter is 79 years old. He's um, like a dirty old man. Whoa. <laughs> Bloody hell. Is there a Walter in your lineage? It's Walter, no. I don't know any person. I just feel like I absorb things heaps easy. Like if people, if they have pain in their body, I can feel their pain, you know? Like, But I can obviously absorb souls as well, but... He was a wanderer. Uh, he just happened to hop on. He, and I was on the same frequency. Nice. Yeah. He saw your energy. Yeah. Um, light. Surprised you didn't feel him hop on. Well, I felt like I wasn't really there. I felt yeah. like <laughs> I was in the back seat. And he, you know? Yeah. And He's, I feel um, like I'm very like sensitive and I didn't feel very sensitive. I felt like he a very, was a, like. He was a sailor. He was in the Navy. Um, and he was very, uh, a very randy man. He's, he's showing me he's a, a randy man, you know what I mean? He was, uh, in his day, he liked women a lot. The a womanizer. Lot of, yes. <laughs> That's not me. I'm not that. Like, I'm not that. Well, so. he, he is. And he's, um, he's, I don't even want to, I'm like, okay, you don't have to tell me anymore, Walter. We just need to send oh. you home. <laughs> and why did you come in? So I was He's got the quite the frequency. personality. Hmm? Yeah, like so, I was on the same frequency either when I was sleeping or when I was awake, and yeah. probably yeah, when no, I was sleeping. No, was... Normally, it's your light. That's all. Oh, okay. It tracks it to your light. Yeah. So, because yeah. I'm in a high frequency, is it that why? Like, I'm in a high frequency. It's just your light. It's, it's your, your light. That's what they do get attracted to. We don't have we don't have life force like us, so obviously, he likes your life force. Wow. So you might have been drained of it for a few days. Yeah, I feel. And that headache was so powerful yesterday. Like it was, I had to go to bed like 7.30. These in your eyes, that's where he is. The weirdest place to be. <laughs> I was like, I saw it right there. <laughs> he, he might have been tapping into your memories. <laughs> Whoa. Could be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could it's be. so weird. Like as soon as you looked in there, I was like, whoa. Yeah, I had a dream where I had like a backpack on and I was, there was some wires, like positive and negative wires and I was playing with it. And some guy goes to me, don't touch them. Like you will blow it up, you know, keep it as it is. And I wonder if that's the guy, like I was wearing a backpack or something and I was trying to get away from the place and I was going through a jungle, through water and there were bats like hanging, like there were bats that were fake kind of hanging from trees on a rope. And then I ended up at the same place again. You know, I went through all this stuff and then I ended up at the same spot. Well, I wonder and if he's he just was laughing at me. Yeah, I wonder if he was doing mines, you know, setting mines up or, or doing the opposite. What's that, minds? Yeah, it, might, it sounds like positive, negative. It sounds like all to do with my, my, uh, setting up minds in the world. Well, I just assumed that because there were two wires, like, and then, you know, like on a box. So it seemed like very futuristic, this box, you know? Mm. And I was trying to unplug it all, you know? I was unplugging it and he didn't want me to do it, you know? Mm. <laughs> so you were getting some of his memories. Yeah, and it felt really real. Like, oh, I, that dream I had was so real. And it was after I met someone and the physical, too. So, I don't know if it's connected. It's like when I was going through the water, it felt like I was in the water and like, and this place was very trippy. Like it was, a, it was like I was on mushrooms, but I, will, I haven't been on mushrooms, you know? Like it was that kind of Well, let's send Walter home. Walter, 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 Walter was in the Navy, remember? Yeah, but he, he, he could be in the Navy, but he could also be a bomb disposal yes. in the Navy. Yes. Quite easily. Uh, that's yeah. trippy, yeah. Yes. I want to know how he got, like, how do I allow him into my space? Like, I also heard if you don't have access to your soul, you kind of don't really have consent. Like, if I'm not doing the work and I don't have my soul, then people can just, you know, come in. I heard that. I don't know if that resonates. But, like, you don't really have free will. If you don't have your whole soul, you don't really you have, have your free whole will. soul. Why wouldn't you have your whole soul? Well, I, I thought I'm a bit fragmented, you know? I'm like, I feel like I'm, I'm blocked or I'm 
I'm only using a very small amount of my soul. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. That's probably a belief system I got to let go of then. Yeah. Have you ever had an injury? A bad injury? Well, I was hit on the head and that kind of, and I've hurt my neck and I've hurt my spine. Like I've done, had a lot mm. of injuries on my spine. You might have a weak endorphin, and you might. Yeah. Have. yeah, I reckon that. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. You just keep coming through the holes, you know. Yeah, but you're. If you have a physical body right now, your soul's in that physical body, so there is no fragmented soul. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where you're getting that from. I don't know. It just didn't resonate. Like, <laughs> like I was like, what, what? You know, when you go, I do not consent. Well, sometimes that may not work because you don't have control over your soul. Like, you're not steering your ship. You know, so then anyone can just hop on. Okay, but your 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 soul's inside of you. You you, you are. In, I don't understand what you mean by that. Or, or like, I'm a soulless person. I thought I was like a non-player character. You're not soulless. Character. You're not soulless. <laughs> A non-player character, you know, like a background yeah. person. No, you're very much have a soul, really or you wouldn't be, or you wouldn't be part of this. Looking for us to help you remove the poor man that tagged along. Oh, that you wouldn't makes be sense, coming yeah. here. You wouldn't be coming <laughs> here asking us to clear you. In, in but I feel kind of bad because I'm coming. Sorry, you let you go. I feel bad because I'm always coming again and again. It's like I don't want it to be addiction, why do you, feel, you know. Why do you Why do you feel bad? Why, why making you clean awesome? clean me all the time. I'm always coming with other stuff in me, you know. Like why can't I do my it's, own it's, work, it's, you know? That's why we That's why we do this, Ryan. Why do you yeah, don't feel yeah. bad? As long as you're not getting annoyed. No. You're, you're, why you're would just, we get annoyed? <laughs> yeah, you're just a collect, you're a collective souls. That's all. No. Oh, like okay. a, like an empath on the soul thing. You just got to learn how to send them on on the way. Yeah. I feel so like I'm learning like every time yeah like every time I'm connecting with you guys I'm learning because I'm seeing what mm -hmm. happens and then I'm doing the work and then I'm going okay I must have to work a bit more in this area of my boundaries and you know but I just feel like as soon as I get contact with someone I just it's I feel like I'm just feeling it you know like I can't be around people very much oh you can and it's changing everything's changing so don't worry I mean don't be afraid to be around people you're getting stronger too so yeah that's what, that's every cool. day Ryan, your soul is well protected. It's normally in the eighth chakra, so it's well protected, and it's it's like using you as joystick, like moving all the components. Yeah. You're you're doing the work formally every day. You're stepping into it, and you're you're challenging it, so stuff shows up. What I was going to say is the the shame and guilt sometimes we have around sexuality or relationships or lineage trauma. <laughs> Phil and I were talking earlier about this can come in and. Uh, it kind of opens our field for these denser energies that are trying to feed right now. And they're, they're just looking for any insecurity that at least this has been happening to me this last little while to, to feed and, and uh, try and slow us down because we're changing everything. The light is shining in so bright. They don't know what's left and where to go anymore. Like desperate. But, they're very desperate, you know? Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Thank you for that input. I'm you may feel, you may feel some energy in your eye. I'm sorry. You may sure. feel something vibrating or heat in your eye because Walter now realizes he can have the same light that you have around you, his, his, his God spark and his heart uh, and his energy field. He's now made it as big as he can. So he's going to start releasing himself. So you'll feel something. He apologizes because he did feel like you were um, a higher dimensional being or you were actually creator energy i forgive him and i let him go right eh? yes he's on his way back home to where he belongs to and he's gone now thank you we feel a release from your eye the back yeah like sometimes i think my eye like feels your weird eye looks totally different now <laughs> it's back to normal it looks just like the <laughs> other one now <laughs> oh wow that's so crazy that's so crazy. I want to be able to see that in people, like see their eyes. I don't really see. Uh, um, I, well, I, it looks back to normal to me. I'm going to, we're going to do some healing in it now inside your head. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm also going to send you energy to, to recoup your chi energy. Well, to, to see the eyes different, sometimes you have a little black dot or something a bit strange in one eye. And that's just, just feeding off your soul energy. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Back to your handsome self now. <laughs> I feel lighter. I feel a lot lighter. Like everything's kind of yeah. light now. Yeah. I was feeling something in my throat too. Like the oh. other couple of days, like in my throat. Um, I usually feel things in my throat. I don't know why. Throat chakra, maybe. Has he got a parasite in his throat? 
He has a parasite in his throat, Phil. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, spiritual parasite. Can you feel that? I can feel lightness wash over me. I think, I, personally, I think it was linked to the uh, to the uh, attachment, the uh, of it, the spirit that came in. Like a, when it came in, we both came in, if you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah. that would make sense. It looked a bit like a scorpion, actually. <laughs> scorpion? Yeah, it looked like a scorpion parasite. I've never seen one before. They're normally beetles or worms or something like that. Yeah. Ro- roaches. Yeah, or roaches. Yeah. <laughs> I've had bats and I've had scorpions now. <laughs> yeah, that's gone, that. Yeah, they're just... I haven't done the healing yet. <laughs> the healing of the yeah, it's gone. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. You might feel the healing now. Can you feel that? Yes. Can you have a problem with one of your fingers? Like a frog? I feel, I get I get numb, like... Yeah, I'm just picking that up. I think you had some at there, actually, which I'm trying to remove it. Uh, ow. Oh, yeah. You felt that, eh? Like, yeah, I think I felt that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That could be the, the entry point, I don't know. Do you want to say stop and you can get two cards? Stop. That's if you want two cards. Sure. Right. Can you see them? Playfulness. No. Playfulness and celebration. So, have fun on your journey, which sounds like with that deal, you probably have been. <laughs> <laughs> your intentions yeah, and change it. You, 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 you want to change your life in the coming, okay? I want to change my life, like I, I, I You've got plans to change your life, and it's something yeah. happening, it's something happening. Right? Thank you, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Thank you guys for all that work. And, yeah. You are welcome. <laughs> and uh, I'll keep, um, have a lovely day. Yeah. Um, I, Lily and Emilio and Lily's daughter, I'm going to get her daughter's picture up and share that she's just daughter's name miranda i'm gonna do the daughter first this is miranda mm-hmm. lily and emilio and miranda have been sick for over a month is it lily like three weeks or so yes now lily's gone through a very um bad divorce um lily has now had a relationship with emilio and emilio you have an ex Yes, I do. And do you feel like there is some kind of a interference <coughs> from your ex that's maybe I don't, including- know. I don't know it's if it's from her, but yes, things have not been um, running so so smooth. Do you um in Spain do they do any type of witchcraft or curses or things like that that I know of? No. Do people practice that? Uh, I'm oh, sure they, they are, but I'm not uh, related to anyone. Okay. Who does that. I meant to do your, do you know your ex-wife? Has she ever done dark magic or any type of, does she know that anyone in her family that does think that will be able to do things like this? That's what I'm asking. I'm not sure, but she, they live in Portugal. Not, oh, they not live in, in Portugal. Okay. Yes. Deb, they could do it without knowing. Okay. But you know, from her family, know, can just do it. Yeah. yeah, that that could be. But I don't know if it's in her family or somewhere, someone from her town. Or but uh, I've been unemployed for over a year, and ever since I moved to Spain, uh, things well have been running smooth on one side and definitely not good on the other. I'm getting the feeling of a very dark energy. Yeah, someone can just do it by thinking about it. Yeah, you, I understand. Okay. Yeah, you, you don't even have to do black magic without doing black magic, if you get what I mean. I, but yeah, yeah, but I can still ask questions. I just thought I was yeah. trying to do was yeah. establish whether he would know anything. Yeah, I've got I've got a new way of doing this, Deb. Okay. If I, if I put the halo around her and suck any negativity out of her, and then the halo sends it back to the receiver, uh, to the sender. Okay. Yeah, that. That's kind yes. of easy. I was given that leave a dose. Okay. How's her stomach been? Miranda's. Hmm? Miranda's stomach? Her her tummy. Has it been upset? Has she... Mm, <coughs> she she's been okay, but she hasn't eaten a lot. She's not a good eater, but she hasn't been eating as, as she usually does. And I noticed like her poop wasn't like regularly. It is like four, twice or three times. Yes. 
Uh, I, I don't like saying it. She's not had the lollipop, actually. She's not what? Had the lollipop. Uh, the lollipop, the, you know, I, I talked about before um, in the arm, the thing in the arm that we talked about yesterday. We can't say it okay. on here or we'll get, we'll get, um, the right. thing that, <laughs> you know, that. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can't, say, oh, we can't we can't say it on here. Yeah, yeah I know. Uh, Miranda and I don't have the official thing. No. Yeah. Um, but like two weeks ago, she had some of the regular ones. Either I don't like them, but you know that condition with here, that and that. But it wasn't like the the one. Everybody it wasn't the lollipop one that they. That no, they, no, it wasn't. Right. No, it wasn't the lollipop. No, no. Okay. And I have none of them, and she has none of them. Yeah. And it is suspicion even the normal one, by the way. So I'll, I'll check it anyway. That's all right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't want her, her to get them because I also get the suspicion that they are mixing some things on them. Yeah. That's all right. That's why he's going to. Um, he's going to. Um, take care of the toxins in them because you think uh, she she got something like that yeah so we bring through um her original blueprint which is the 11th chakra mm -hmm. and take out the toxins from all any yeah, yeah. any of if, them if it's any if it's any yeah. yeah okay thank you i know for in order for her to go to school they required them right yes yeah and um how, how long has she been out you say she's been ill three weeks. Yes, or so. Well, when it, did it, she? When did she have the? Uh... Yeah, yeah. It coins. It's 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 all around the same time. Right. Okay. Very yeah, good. and all the kids in her school are also like that, and they are like the same ages, or they are like obligatory. But you're also ill. Yes, I'm ill also, and Emilio was also ill, and his son. Um, Emilio has some of the lollipops. I don't know if he has three or four, but he has some of them. I've had three. You, got the, you got the lollipop. I understand. It was a requirement don't, don't, to, to fly. Yeah. Don't, don't say, don't say. Yeah. Yeah, don't <laughs> yeah. I couldn't fly from Spain to Portugal without having them. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Good to go. She might improve that. What do you want to do next, Lily? Thank you. Okay. <coughs> you want to do Lily there, Bill? Hmm? Anyone? We'll do Lily. Okay. I feel. Uh, Hello. So how long have you had your cold, Lily? How long? Like three weeks. Sorry, it sounds like my cold here. You don't have to sound like it. Like... But I think it's getting worse now. You can slowly take a deep breath, slowly. And through the nose. And then slowly blow out your mouth. Let it loose out, out of your mouth. Do that three times. You're going to feel a warm, like warm water going through your chest starting right now. It's going to travel through your body. This is creator's energy. It went through into your heart, like white diamond light. And as your heart pumps, it's going to be molten golden energy going through every part of your body, through your bloodstream. Every time your heart beats, it's going to pump that golden energy, healing all your organs, even your skin. That's why it feels like warm water, because it's going through your blood. You feel it? Mm. And you're going to feel that warm water going through your chest, down your legs, up into your neck down your back, into your respiratory system. You just keep doing that slow breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. It's nice, into your sinuses, into your ears, doing all that beautiful healing energy going through you. Nice, relax. I'm feeling better, but I have a really strong headache. Um, I almost never get any headaches. And I'm feeling it right now, like you're feeling, for a while. You feel like I have a, you have a headache? Yeah, we're like a bit super strong I, over here. I was going to say, have you got an headache? <laughs> but yeah, you just got yeah. it now. You just got it now. Yeah, and I have, in the last three days, I have, I have had an allergy. I don't know to what, like a very bad rash in all my body. I think, all, I think all this is to do with the people around the lollipops. A rash? Uh, so I, yeah, I think it's to do with the lollipop shredding. Mm. So you've just had an headache now? You the didn't headache have one before, yeah. No, the headache was uh, while I was online. It started like during that session. That's strange. I was going to say you have a lot of stress because <laughs> headaches are normally <laughs> stress related. Or maybe a little bit before. It might be stress also. You don't have any negative energies in your place. In my home, no. Your home, no. I'm telling you that you don't. 
I could tell. No, no. Well, uh, I, did, uh, I did a sweep, so. Yes. And Archangel Michael told me, you don't have anything there. He said it's protected. Who, your you home, there? Your, your, home, home. your home is protected. Archangel Michael told me that. Yeah, I know. I have to go. I have to go back to my work. I know that. <laughs> I know he knows. I'm gonna get my baby because she's waking up. But I'll bring her with me. It's okay. If anyone was doing anything dark on you, know, anything like that, it's been sent back to wherever it came from. So you haven't got anything like that. Do you want to say stop and I'll give you two cards? Okay. That's stop. Stop. But guardian angels, we've got divine guidance. Okay. So guardian angels are just to let you know that they're behind you, helping you. And Thank you so much. And divine guidance means just follow your intuition. Yeah. You got, Thank you. Well, you've got a lot of intuition. So it's Oh, and you and I spoke about that the other day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's it's super. Um, I would say the when it's I, I forget the word in English right now, uh, but it, yes, it's it's the right thing right now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Follow your instincts. Don't yeah. don't question them. Okay, yeah. Emilio, let's see. Take care of them. We first need to uh, take the toxins out of the. Uh, body is that okay with you yes you can do that you might feel this actually with you having so many so should i close my eyes or yeah close, just, your, yeah. close your eyes and let us know what what you feel as, as of now uh, just like energy flowing through my body mm -hmm. and i don't know i'm i'm tired but it could be because of the time <laughs> <laughs> i could just go back and sleep that's just what, what, what's happening there? Energy's being released from you. It's caused a little vacuum. That's all. We've been having so many. Yeah, to toxins are being brought out of the body right now. Nothing's being put in yet. All of the toxins from the lollipop, we call it, are being pulled out. Then we bring down the 11th chakra, which is your original blueprint of your body, mm -hmm. and replace it with your the correct your, the original DNA of your body, so that it correct what was taken out. And now you may see or feel, now you may feel something going in. And what is that? I'm, I'm giving you my chi energy, my life force energy to recoup your low vibration for having the, uh, the side effect. What are you putting in, Deb? I can see the DNA that um, was removed and the corrected, his DNA being corrected I can see some blood work being done. There's something, there's something wrong with your blood. I don't know whether you had low iron. You said some kind of deficiency in your blood. When, when was that? Now, at the moment? Just now, yeah. Mm, I have some iron capsules at home. I can take them. No, it's okay. They're, they're, they're being, it's being taken care of now. Did you, were you ever anemic before? Mm -mm. At the beginning of the year, I exposed myself to ice, and then I had like a deficiency in the nervous system of B12, but then it, it got back uh, like a month after that. Now I feel normal. Okay. It's just like the, the year hasn't been the best one for me. I, as Lily said, we both went through a divorce almost at the same time. Yeah. We've helped each other. We've been through ups and downs together mm -hmm. um i just moved my stuff out of portugal and now i'm back in spain and just things have right have not been that perfect yeah but um uh, i'm happy that the year is gonna be over soon <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully things change for the for the good the um lollipop that was given changes your dna okay which is why we need allegedly, to, allegedly. Allegedly, what? Okay. So, which is why we needed we needed to make some correction and okay. bring in your original root blueprint. Yes, I, I had to take them in order to travel from to see my son. 
I understand that. And um, so we, when we do this, we're doing this through our Creator, which is God. Mm -hmm. So my husband's energy is from God to, and then I see what's going on mm -hmm. um, in your body. So as I'm seeing this happening, I'm describing to you what's being corrected. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, I actually use a crystal source being uh, aspect. I par right. partially merge, and uh, I see exactly everything that goes on. And it was very difficult. That one. Yeah, I don't think you need any more of them, do you? I think you've changed the rules on. Yeah, I think when I said they were doing some blood work because you had it looked like you were going to you were missing you had some deficiencies. It looked like low iron to me. That's that's the message I was getting. You had low iron. All they were doing was giving you a, a boost of iron. So you don't have to go to a doctor or anything. They were taking care yeah. of that for you. That's all. I, I also changed my diet this year, ever since I got to Spain. Okay. And um, I've seen some changes health-wise. And I'm not eating meat as much. And sometimes I, I feel it. Um, but uh, eventually it will establish. Well, like, fish is good. Do you eat fish? Yeah, well, from my history, I'm not used to eating that much fish. I'm liking it every year as, as years go, go by. I'm liking it more and more. I just don't find the same taste as in meat because I grew up almost eating uh, meat almost every day. and. But yeah, I, I, I will switch to a more fish diet eventually. We live in Barcelona, close to the sea, so um, I will try that. But yes, I've seen this, especially this past year, that something's missing out of my nutrition. But I, I, I do a lot of sport and I have not seen that uh, backdrop yet or a, a rush. Or a, But thank you for telling me that. I will take a... I look into that and I will well, incorporate it's taken, more. What I'm saying, telling you is we're taking care of it. It's taken yeah. care of it. Emilio, oh, thank you. Uh, yes. when you eat meat, what you can do, you can bless it. And what you do is you just have a few seconds meditation and send all the trauma from Aldi died to source and then give it love and thank it. You know, like Avatar where you thank the, the, the mm -hmm. nourishment. Mm -hmm. And it, it, by blessing it, it tastes better. It really does. Okay, thank you. And you're doing something good, then uh, you're sending all the trauma back to source. Thank you. Do you want two cards, by the way, or not? Sure, thank you. They're angelic. They're angelic cards, so it gives you. All right. What, yeah. When you say, when I say stop, or when you tell me? Yeah. No, you tell him stop. When you get, okay. when you feel he should stop, he's shuffling them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Sorry. Oh, okay. That's all right. Uh, uh, stop. Oh. So it's. Divine guidance again. You've now shuffled them a lot. And children. So honor your inner child. Have more fun. Divine okay. guidance is uh and is that guidance? Yeah, guidance. Divine guidance. Follow your intuition. Yeah. All right. Follow your intuition and have more fun. Have Can I just do fun. one one Can I just do one thing I haven't done? Okay. Uh, if you're getting any curses or anything like that? I just want to send it back to. I didn't do that. I, yeah. I, I think um, because I moved everything out of my old home, mm -hmm. perhaps there was something left there, or I brought something with me that. Well, I don't know. I, I, I'll I'll use my halo to, to go around. Yes, it's, it's a halo. halo. It's a halo that he puts down around you, and if there's any curses, it'll go back to the sender. That's all yeah, he's perfect. gonna do. Perfect, perfect. I, I'm, I'm not afraid of anything, and I, I appreciate everything you're doing. Thank that's you. All. I'm not seeing any, I'm feeling any negative energies in your place either. So that, that's, a, that's important. I wanted to make sure that there were there was nothing negative in, in, that is attacking you there, and I didn't Thank see you. any. Cool. So he did the halo. You did that for the baby and for um, Lily as well. Okay. Yeah, I did that. So that's. Thank you. You're all taking care. I, of. I, how do you feel now, by the way? Yes, I, I feel uh, grateful for this uh, opportunity and this moment. Good. Yes, and I want to thank you for for your time. You're welcome. I know that all of you are in Spain, so I, and um, I don't expect you to stay up for this whole thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite bad, so. Go to bed. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Lily, I hope we love so you. Much. 
Love you so Thank much. Thank you so honey. much. I'm, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much, Rick and Deb. And nice yeah. meeting you, Pauline, Philip, and everyone over here. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you, Philip. Thank you, Rick. And Thank you. It was Deb. nice meeting you, Emilio. You as well. Thank you. Have a great day and Thank weekend. You. Is it 2, 2 a.m. there? Yeah. Yes, yes, it's 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry. Thank you for, for your time. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. You're and your help. You're welcome. And support. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nos vemos, Lily. Bye-bye. Besos. Ciao, Ciao Mimi. Bye. Bye. All right. So who is next? Davina? Nope. Okay. Who in Australia is next? The only one left in Australia would be Wilma. Did you need some today, Wilma? Actually, yes, I wasn't going to, but um, I've just got this little eye infection that I've had for the past week, and it's getting better, but, you know, a little boost wouldn't hurt. I think you're right. Let's do a boost. Hmm. I think it's allergies. Have you ever had an allergy before where it does your eyes like that? Um, yeah, I um, had it, I think, last year or the year before. I, I had about six months worth from one eye to the other and back again. Um, and I suspected it might have been allergies because I couldn't think of any other reason for it to be there. What is and it did happen after my mobile. What's in it that's causing it? I'm asking father. What, what's it? Is it dusty there? Sorry? Is it dusty there? Is it something that, from outside that comes in a lot? Oh, it's been very, it's been very windy. Mmm, that's it. Mmm. Well, is there you something might, in, you, is might, it, you might feel something in the brain. I'm trying to change your brain. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> so, so you accept it, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Can you feel that? Yeah, it's kind of heating up between my ears and up, up around the forehead. <laughs> what we've done, <laughs> we've gone into your 11th chakra, rewrote your blueprint a little bit and tried to change it to that. So that's a new one on me. I haven't seen that before. And I asked Father to give you an antihistamine and oh, like, a ben, like a Benadryl, but without the drug, without making you tired. Yeah, because I'm clear your, to take drugs. Clear your eyes and your sinuses so that you you look brand new, like your eyes are clear and you're not watery. And, and so he zapped you one. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I also took some of your neck pain as well. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't wasn't even aware I had any of that. Well, <laughs> Not to say that, that I don't, but I, I don't it, dwell on these things. I thought it was something. Else. Thank you. And can I just say, you know, after our last meeting, and you um, did some work on my knee, it has it has indeed greatly improved. I've been able to do a bit of extra healing on it now, and um, yeah, it's not 100, but um, it's come a long way, uh, Good. much Good. better than it was at that time. Thank you. Good. You're welcome. Uh, I'll send you some more. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. She's in the other room. The kitty? Yeah. I wonder what she went out there for. Have the birds? Can you feel that? Uh, my whole body's heating up. <laughs> <laughs> Top to toe. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling something at the back of my head, just below the occipital ridge. Got a message you're getting uh, more downloads tonight. Oh, God. <laughs> I've had a real good time with it lately. Like last night, I was awake from 2 a.m. onwards. And then thank God I slept for a couple of hours before I had to get up to, to come to this you, meeting. Do you wake up in the middle of them? I do. Uh, oh, all the time. Um, I try to, I never get more than four hours straight sleep after that. Anything more is a bonus. Um, so I try not to go to bed too early, but the last few nights have been so tired. I've been going to bed like half past nine, which means four hours. I'm awake from 1.30. There is, there's me for the night. <laughs> yeah. He's up all night long too. I don't know when they give him downloads because he doesn't ever sleep. He sleeps, I think, from four o'clock or five o'clock in the morning till eleven o'clock in the morning. That's his best sleep. Yeah. And I, I always, I usually need him because I'm getting all these uh, private messages. Can you scan me? I don't feel good. Or somebody's <laughs> sick, and I need you to scan somebody. I'm like, oh god, Rick's sleeping. Oh. Yeah, oh, my but best sleep seems to be because he's getting some sleep. You know, <laughs> <laughs> my best sleep is like in the afternoon, an hour or two on the couch. That seems to be yeah. the best sleep. Yeah, he's he's. Uh, you say stop while you're talking. Uh, stop. Signs. Uh, signs and forgiveness. Forgiveness is the first one. And that, that says it all, doesn't it? You, if you feel angry or if you get any ang anger with anyone or anyone irritates you, you've just got to let them go. You've got to surrender it. I think you knew that anyway. Yes, I do. And fo follow the signs. I'm they might be one. Well. They, they might be one particular person that you just gotta 
forgive. Sometimes it can be hard. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm meeting my neighbours next weekend, so <laughs> maybe there'll be somebody there. <laughs> well, that's nice. Yeah, I haven't met anybody yet. It's a quiet neighbourhood. Um, and I'm enjoying that. I mean, I don't want to have a whole bunch of noisy neighbours, but um, yeah, somebody's holding a Christmas uh, get together next weekend and the whole street's been invited. So I'll get to meet the neighbours. <laughs> oh, good, good. Maybe you'll, there'll be single men in there. I oh, know, I don't think so. They're mostly families. I think I must be the grandma of the neighbourhood. I'm like, I think I'm the old one, you know? Yeah. I've seen lots of little kitties. Well, I mean, you know, I've heard babies and things sort of in the distance crying and that sort of thing. And I know that there's some boys next door because a soccer ball got kicked into my yard and that was retrieved. But um, yeah, I think it's mostly a young neighbourhood. It's just, I'm going to you represent the You never know. Yeah. Maybe they'll bring their grandpa who's single. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me a break. I don't want to too old. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. But you never know. You may you may meet someone. Yeah. Victoria, you're next. What are you doing? Thanks, guys. Oh, we lost her. Okay. Much love. Who's, after, who's much love to you, honey? Who's after Victoria? Oh. Oh. Oh, there she is. Victoria, you're next. Victoria? Victoria's well. Okay, Victoria, we're going to go to Paul since you're not there. We'll come back to you. Okay. She says she's been having some Wi-Fi problems in the chat there, so. Okay. She Hi, might have come in. She might have gone invisible. She might be in full day. <laughs> <laughs> the magic. Hi, Paul. How are you? I am crazy, but I'm okay. Um, I'm always crazy. <laughs> ask, ask, ask Rick. Oh, I agree. Ask, ask <laughs> that I agree. It's <laughs> part of the part of the process. Um, I identify a little bit with what Brian, uh, Ryan was saying earlier. I My left side is all mangled. It's like I can barely, like vision is all screwed up and I've got this vertigo. I had something happen, I don't know, earlier this week, like Tuesday or something. And I kind of identified with what he said that somebody kind of walked in and an energy of density or whatever uh, makes it hard to drive or uh, even walk. I get on balance. It's like I'm two people are in two places at the same time. Look at uh, me. Look in the camera. Is that close enough? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you'll see a Walter or somebody else in there. I don't know, but... Uh... It, you know, I, I've got a feeling it. You, your energies are changing for 5D to 3D. Mm -hmm. I've got a feeling it. I don't do see anybody energies. in your... I don't see anybody there, but that doesn't mean there isn't anybody in there. Beautiful. But I, I, I Not think your eye. It. I think you, you float into two different dimensions. I feel yeah, that I've been rewriting. Uh, I had a lot of mother issues. I've been rewriting my birth the last couple of days, which has been huge. And then clearing up and taking responsibility for all my relationship experiences, which have been all mangled up with a whole bunch of lineage trauma shit that I've been dealing with for my whole family. And uh, it's been a theme this last little while of cleaning up dense energies. And uh, when you said Walter was a kind of a Randy man or whatever. There's a lot of those energies going through the field, just trying to go with great traumas and different traumas that were part of my my mother's history and family lineage history. And I've been cleaning that up. And sometimes men, especially babies, come in and they want to heal their mother and they take on all this man shit because uh, the, the whole collective is in patriarchy and all this kind of stuff. So I picked up a bunch of that stuff and I've been sending all that stuff to the light and cleaning it. And uh, there's some not very happy energies in all of that. Uh, so I'm I'm definitely doing the work and clearing it and sending everything to the light that I can, but... Uh, it, it's like an awakening symptom, isn't it? It's, a bit like it's that. massive. Yeah. It's yeah. scary to drive right now. And I got to drive sometimes to get <laughs> food and my kids. When I was doing a bit of that a few years ago, uh, I wanted to cheat because you can actually manipulate your eyesight to make it easier. You can do all that, but I was told I can't. Right. Uh, so my headache that I had, I never really had an headache before, so it's quite quite difficult to handle it as a human if you get what I mean. But when right. you're nearly, you can actually manipulate things like that, but when you're going through that, a lot of times you don't. So by you sending all this dense energy it's making you light and it's like an awakening for, for your it, it is i feel like i'm between two worlds and two vibrations like yeah. my other reality and i'm reprogramming and imagining my new house and my new field and relationships and all this kind of stuff it's a very surreal kind of place mm -hmm. to be okay with with something different 
because if I would have had a different experience and made different choices as a as an infant, my life would have been completely different. I can see that now. So by reprogramming all that stuff, it opens up a whole new timeline. I don't know how to describe it. Like, but before you came here, you chose it. I'm sure I did. Like even to drive, same road I've driven many, many times looks completely different. And I'll miss the turn because it's in a different place. And it's just really weird and surreal. And I just want to make sure there's nothing wrong health perspective wise, okay. uh, like brain problems or the doctors tried to give me high blood pressure medication and shit. But I'm like, fuck, man, <laughs> you've never been through ascension. You don't know what happens to a body during that. So I'm I'm not going to get pills to suppress me. So suppress the time. Yeah, I can, we can give you alien now. Sure. Yes. If needed. I would be grateful. Thank you both. Thank you all. Yeah, this is very. See, he does. He does yeah. have somebody. This is the weird thing, but it's almost like on his spine. It's like a when you were going through all of those. It's like there's a ladder going up your back where there's all these people, and and you. My past relationships. Yeah. Yes, but you didn't get rid of them. They're like hanging on. I had an interaction with a woman when this happened, and it was very. But there, it's yeah. you too. But you've got you've got them hanging on your back. Well, They're I'm still hanging there. Go. I forgive them, and I release myself, and I forgive myself for all my shame and guilt and anything that's allowed that. I got Archangel Michael here saying you're taking responsibility, way too much responsibility for all this, way too much responsibility to release that responsibility. At the top of that ladder, at the top of that ladder, there's hooks. He wants you to take those hooks and let it go. Release it. Those those are not your responsibility. Let it go. I've been attached to you for so long. I've got something in my right hip that's my woman attachment point and uh, my gallbladder and I've got a bit of a headache and sinuses going on. with this last little bit, it's crazy. Okay, I'm fully who's, who's attached to your hip? Who is that? Oh, my mother, Isla was. Oh, one it is your them. mother, and and you, why are you why are you responsible? You're not responsible. All I gonna make me cry. All I wanted when I came here was unconditional love, and my mother was raped as a child, and all she could call herself was a stupid little girl. And from the moment I was born, I never felt safe with my mother. But, but, but you understand you chose her. You chose I her. I chose her, and I have to reprogram it, and I had to. You Go chose each to, other, but they and and but mm-hmm. she was supposed to. She was supposed to. She was supposed to learn a lesson from your birth, but she's the one that let you down. You didn't let her down, so no, it no. was her responsibility. So she should be asking you for I am sorry, and and not you asking her. So she's here uh, right now, I'm and confused. she's here right now saying I am so sorry. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you forgive me for I'm the one that let you down I'm the one that failed that lesson I have to repeat it not you not you stop taking responsibility for my fuck up because that's my fuck up not yours uh, I did something to my dad too because I had a reading and my my dad was punching me in the genitals because it messed up their sex life or something I tried to help and fix and I didn't even know that it was happening and it's not your fault for that either that's his no, see, this right. is where it's wrong. Yeah. No, this is where it's wrong. See, he's again. He he was wrong. He's you're you're not the one. You're taking responsibility again for something that was not you. This was I, their I release it all. Theirs. Yes. Where we always think kids always think it's their fault, and this is where your parents, both of them, this was their lesson in this lifetime. You were supposed to. Be, you were. You said I will help you in this lifetime before you came here. They said that you said I will choose you as as your as my parents because you need me to do this. You okay. all agreed to this in this lifetime to incarnate. I agree. You all had reasons to help each other through things. They this was not your fault as you being the child. This was their fault. They did not do certain things, so they have to repeat this lesson in another lifetime. Thank you for pointing that out because I always thought it was something I did wrong. No, no. It was not you. It was them. So you're taking responsibility where it's a, a lot of places that you certainly are not the one responsible. They were. Well, now I'm he's pulling them along with again. Me, which Here he is. is. He's saying, okay. I'm sorry. Again, here's your dad. Thank you. Thank you. I accept. I don't know where that dream parents. came from. It was some kind of, it's, it was some kind of, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was saying parents are always the teachers. Mm. They should be teaching you. So I anything that happens as a child. It's a responsibility, whatever it is. 
I had to grow up so early. I, I couldn't even talk to my parents as, as mom and dad. I always called them by their first name because uh, I was let down by all that or whatever. I, I saw it, but I had to grow up and I lost my innocence like you wouldn't believe so early. So I forgive and I release and I let go and let them on their own journey to heal whatever they need to so I can have my own from this day forward. I don't want to carry it into my kids. Yes. What, what, you, what you always do is parents tend to recycle what lets happen to them. It's just a circle, a round circle. Anything, yeah. anything yeah. that you and think. They, and yeah. once you've got to stop, stop that circle, mm-hmm. it's a lesson and you let it go. I agree. With love, let it go with love. And let it go. Mm-hmm. And let it go. And let it go. I'd be free. I'm free. Uh, do you feel the release in your back? There's something I'm just like fucking so grateful to know <laughs> it wasn't something I missed or I had to do different or whatever. No. Thank you. Something yeah. you were hanging on to that wasn't yours. There were so many of them. Paul, remember, forgive them and let them go with love. I forgive them and I let them go with all the love in the universe. Yeah. Forgive yourself for hanging on to it too because it's yeah. not yours. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. It's hard to see it afterwards and see how it kind of messed up your whole yeah. entire life and your experience and you didn't know any yeah. better. So I do yeah. forgive myself and yeah, rise above and move on. Hard being human, <laughs> holy crap, it's so confusing. Of course it is. It, yeah, yeah, because you thought one way, but it wasn't that way. It was not. It was not your responsibility. It had nothing to do with you. Well, sometimes I've... We, they teach us so much that self-responsibility and life happens for you not to you kind of thing and you can get into that trap a little bit sometimes and that's where it started no, but it sometimes can be for the other people too right yeah yeah so i'm free i thank you you've released me and i can end that experience of shame or guilt or missing or no shame for you there's no shame at all i hear you i'm Thanks. never shamed it's just i'm sending you love healing but such a different life possible now that that free that in relationships and love and so thank you so many emotions there's some old energy been released especially from your head like a stress energy yeah so you might feel a bit very tired after this and I drink mean, plenty of water because uh, you got like a vacuum of this energy it's going to be like a wave and wave of cleansing i accept i accept i allow whatever is needed I'm ready for better. It's okay. I feel I have some light language for Paul. Okay. Yes. Beautiful. 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 Beautiful song. Thank you, thank you. I felt that in my heart. Just picked a card for you. It's Mm -hmm. surrender and release. (laughs) I agree. I do. I choose to surrender and I choose to release everything. Pass through and start fresh. I love you, Paul. Thank you. I love you all. I so appreciate you. That surrender and release is stop stop hanging on to the past. I agree. Rewrite it all. Hey, I think you mentioned about girlfriends in the past and stuff. I've had a lot of mistakes, but I call them lessons. I don't I don't call them mistakes. I don't call them problems. They're just lessons of life. That's all. Yeah, it's a crazy dance some days. <laughs> I was probably worse than you. So. <laughs> Do you want to say stop and you can have two cards? You, you might get surrender and release again. Okay, stop, please. Uh, <laughs> you didn't, but you got forgiveness. <laughs> I forgive everybody involved at all levels, yeah, all my past relationships, my ex-wife, my tangled messes, everything with my parents, I forgive them. Yeah, never be angry with anyone that forgiveness. Yeah, no. and if you do that, then you will get abundance. And abundance is arrival of wealth, but I think more like spiritual growth, a lovely mm-hmm. spiritual way. Absolutely so. ready for some of that abundance because uh, yeah. I've blocked it for a long time. Thank you. Thank you all. You're welcome. I'm blessed. Thank you all. You are a blessing. Doing my best every day. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Victoria, are you frozen again? Oh, you're mm-hmm. moving again. Victoria. Yeah, I'm mute. Mute. She's frozen. Yeah. No, she's moving. Yeah, now she is. Yeah. 
now frozen. Hey, Vicky. <laughs> Victoria. Oh, boy. Who's that? Davina, Davina, are you gonna? Do you want some healing? Okay. <laughs> I didn't plan it to, but you know, it's good to have a check it out, right? Well, I had you earlier up, and um, I saw your name up there, and I thought you needed a healing because it was way back. Yeah, I was saying hello everyone and love to all. That's what I say. But it's good to have a quick scan, please. Okay. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. We have to work on your ovary again. Is it giving you trouble? No. Okay. But I did two days ago. I did feel some pressure there, but you know, like what you say, I already checked with the doctor, so it's kind of shrinking. So I'm, you know, still yeah. manifest to be completely disappear. Yeah. That's dissolve it. Let's go dissolve that thing. Come on, let's go. Okay. Is it raining there too? Yes. That's this er earlier this morning and yesterday, but not not right now. Yeah, we got your rain. <laughs> we need a rain though. Yeah, it's pretty cold rain though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, drink water. I drink plenty of water. I know. Say, I love you water. Thank you water. I know I bless them and thank them and just like what we all just mentioned every time if I eat something I bless them and I send them back to life and free the consciousness and I thank them to you know merge with me to continue this divine mission yeah and I had a few words with David and asked him where your soulmate is huh? I, said, I, I had a few words with David I said David where's your soulmate David <laughs> He said, I'm working on it. Tell him, Andali, Andali, working harder. Yes. <laughs> Over time. <laughs> he said, she only goes to the beach in the grocery store. <laughs> she doesn't get out. I can't. Man, he said, my, my places are limited. <laughs> I'm going to have to pick somebody up and move them to the beach and push them into her. <laughs> Where else can I go? Where else should I go? I know. I know. I know. It's not like LA is safe. It's not safe there. Yeah, it, it's not. I never, you know, worry about safe or not because I know we are completely, you know, sure and protected. But the point is, you know, where to go though, you know? Well, it, it, there are certain areas you shouldn't go. Yeah. The beach is nice though. Mm -hmm. Certain Certain beaches. Just you know, I, you know where I always go. And then I want to thank um, Phil, the decree that you sent out. I've been doing that every day since the day you sent out. And I will go to the beach and I just tell them, everybody, you know, repeat after me. <laughs> <laughs> the one that um, that you sent out with the, the heart on it. Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing that since the day that you sent out. And I did that the first 15 days, I did three times a day. But after that, you know, um, since November, I... What's going on with the internet? Is it us or them? Love bump to her. Your internet froze. I say I also want to request a healing for Deb. And we also need to send lots of love bump to her. To you, Me. Deb. Yes. Well, I don't know where it if I knew where Deb. <laughs> I have to bring the kitty. I have to bring the kitty in here soon. My granddaughter's cat's really sick. Oh, okay. Davina, having that all in your middle, is it very painful? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what did you say? The horn I in the middle there. Is it very painful? <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> not. Nice. <a> unicorn. <laughs> nice, it's tickling. <laughs> it's been polished, ready to go. Oh, is Victoria back? You've got to say stop and you can have two cards, Davina, or not. No. Is that stop? Yes. Yeah, I think it is. Victoria's having a hard time staying plugged in today. Yeah, she's been exercising in and out. Faithfulness and divine timing. Yes. It really resonates. Playfulness and divine play Playfulness is you need fun on your journey, which you can imagine you do anyway. Divine timing. Your prayers are being answered by universal law, so whatever you want to wish for, you should get it. Yes. Within reason. And you just answered the question that Deb said earlier, right? Divide timing. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. Thank you, everyone. And remember, we are going to send love and healing to Deb Purcell. Right at the end. Yes. Thank you, everyone. 
Well, You're good. welcome, love. Thank you. Victoria, are you back? Yeah, I'm mute. Still on mute. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. Let me, Hello. Let me bring up baby's picture. Have you, you been having trouble with baby? Well, you know, he's old. And, oh, so he, he's young and, uh, you know, the allergies and stuff. But he's barking a lot. And is, you guys is he, are... Is he a dog? Huh? Is he a dog? Is he an adult? Is he a dog? <laughs> Yeah. He's a dog, then barking a lot's not bad. <laughs> He's just irritated a lot. How do you know? And I think we he know wouldn't come her. to the... I might have a hard time hearing you because I, you know, Wi-Fi is not stable. We got it. We've got his picture. We know him. We got him. I don't see any problems. Do you see any problems, Phil? I don't see anything in his throat. It might be a bit of an aching in his gut, but nothing, nothing serious. He's going to the bathroom okay? You going is he peeing okay the only thing i see is the um he, his bladder's a little weak he has to go to the bathroom he has to go i mean right away like he's got to pee you got to take him out right away yeah he yeah you know, he's um he goes out a few times a day even at right but time. i mean if you don't take him out right away he may pee on the floor yeah yeah <laughs> he's he's done that a couple of times recently right but then that's again his, that's his age you can't hold it I mean, when he's got to go, you got to take him out right away. You're yeah. not going to be able to hold it very much, like, the, like a younger yeah, the, dog anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like um, whimpering about it now. So I kind of yes. get the cue, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I get yeah, the cue he, now. Yeah, he he can't hold it anymore. Like, All right, like I'll bring dog. him up more more frequently then. And it's cold. Last Just the other night was like minus eight. Minus eight. Yeah, I saw that. And you got snow the other day. We still have oh, snow, uh, well, but it's ice now. Do you want us to change the weather then? <laughs> uh, no, actually, it, it's, it's, it's unusual. Sure or happy it, with the it's snow. unusual for them to get snow in BC. Yeah. Do, you, do you want me to put, make the temperature bit higher? <laughs> can do. It can be done. Yeah. It's a, they're a big joke right now. In, actually, in you Canada. know what? We we actually I just saw um, earlier on today that the metropolis of my area has an eight hour backup of traffic because of the snows. It's, it's I know, unbelievable. I know they're the and big usually joke. We, <laughs> I know, I mean, this is an article on it. <laughs> we, we, we usually have like the ambulance going off here and there, you know, every night, every day, so you will hear it, right? It's normal, right? But nothing happened since last night till, till today. And the world condition is really not even bad. I don't even know how these people manage to do all that. Yeah, if that's well, that's anything too. And it's on it's on big roads too. It's, it's like big roads are usually cleaned out. So I, I I don't know what's with that. Maybe it's uh, black ice because it is icy. If anything. Yeah. yeah. Victoria, you need a scan too. Sure. You look all right. You feel okay? Just a little lower, um, lower back lower the shock the lower chakra is pinching then again i could be absorbing certain things from my twin and the collective i've been absorbing a lot of those in the past since i'm supposed to be a transmuter it just comes to me i've had like fairly recent little thing with my dad my dad almost disowned me i don't care if you'll disown me to be honest because he's just so grumpy it was just so hard to take and um, Send is there, if you. there's anything you can do for my father, I would I would appreciate that. Hmm. Yeah, I know that. We've we've. I always forgive him. My dad's always forgive. You for, forgive him. But um, so you're not picking up on on anything on me. No. So um, I might be thinking that my little pinching might have something to do with him in the last while, but it's been healed. So that's good. Um. Any message from source or father? Anybody? You guys are not moving. I'm just um, we're just correcting your chakras. Yeah, the chakras were a bit messed up a little while back. Bill, are you there? Father said the more that you know, how much longer are you going to delay doing your job? He wants to know. <laughs> I, th I think the root chakra needed grounding more. Yeah. Tell well, father, I'm I'm in the process of doing something. Very soon, very soon. It, it will happen, don't worry. I'm I'm doing it. I have no plans. That was his, that was you asked for a message and all I'm doing is delivering it. <laughs> You're procrastinating. Uh, he knows that. Uh, he knows that. Uh, he, 
He said, you asked for a message. You asked for a message. He came to me, like literally came to me. Uh, a few, I mean, not today, but a few months back, he physically came to me. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, okay. Okay, yeah. so, and he, and he says, I'm still waiting. <laughs> I would love to tell you guys about me. He's really amazing. He's really, really amazing. Of course he is. He came to Rick Hughes in the physical. And when, when he came, you should have seen the sun. <laughs> he was, he only, it was only a fragment of him that came and it, the sun was pulling, literally being drawn to him. Our sun was blinking like crazy. And he was just because he, his energy is nearby. When father came and like I said, it's, he didn't give me, he didn't give me a lecture. He was, he was very, yeah, he um, would never lecture. <laughs> he was very loving, but you know what he did? He did pull me away. He did pull me away from my twin saying, not now, kiddo, not now. Fix yourself first, <laughs> type of thing. And my twin was like, was, was crying and chasing. And it's like, you know, because we, we can't be together at that time. You know, we both need healing. So all this, all these months, um, Phil pointed out there were shadows. I didn't understand that before because I walked into this body. So what happened prior to it didn't. It, I don't have a lot of memory. And so, I, so after my twin came, certain memories popped up, and more memories popped up from the past life, from and from this current lifetime of my past, which I don't have too much memories of. But you know, I started doing some shadow work, and. Um, yeah, it was it was all part of part of the process, and things are moving ahead. Yeah, moving ahead. Well, good. But you know, my situation, I am still doing my job, but it's just not at that at that level. I I'm still writing, and my energies are still going out to people when I'm doing my content writing. The thing is, in order for me to do what I really want to do here, I need my twin for that. Say stop. Do I say stop, by the way? Say stop for your car, honey. Oh, I didn't. You you were you were not talking or anything like that, and you were frozen, so I didn't know you were doing that. Sorry. You you were frozen. Stop. (laughs) Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. It's black screen for me for for most people here. Right. (sighs) Friendship soulmate. Okay. Hi everybody. You're basically losing some friends and you're gaining others, which happens a lot in these days. I and carry. so, mate. How do I turn the volume up? On the bottom left, yeah. you, um, there is a mute, mute button and there is a little arrow. You okay. can go into the setting and look for the, um, you know, um, whatever you have to do there. Is there a speakerphone at all? She's, she's on, a, you're on an iPhone. Yeah. I have oh, no idea. Oh, I don't know about iPhone. Um, I can hear it if I put my ear up to it really close. Um, I'm new to the group. I'm Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Um, Hi, Carrie. I have two ankles that hurt and I can't walk. Okay. Um, We have a a little chat board that you add your name to. Oh, yeah, I did. She's done that. She's done that. Okay. Okay, great. I'm sorry. Just one sec, sec, Carrie. I'm just saying to Victoria that she might meet someone new, very similar to herself. Uh, That's what the cards mean. I might meet someone new. Like a soulmate, okay? You mean friendship? More friends? Yeah, yeah. It's very close to you. What do you mean close to me? Similar spiritual level. You get that? Oh, me? It's my level? Someone? Actually, in my level? Are you joking? You know no. how many people cannot even handle my level? I know. There <laughs> might be one who can. There you go. Actually, you know, you know Dex had He's getting better at it. He's he's shifting. He's going really fast. The old him is dissipating. The new one is coming. His 5D self. But but then I also understood one thing. There are two soulmates. I don't know if you're picking this up or anything. There are De- Dex is my twin soul, and then I have this other soulmate who's a higher level soulmate, which I haven't met yet either. But I know he's coming. Yeah, well, that, because that, he's just saying it. One's a twin flame. That's not a soulmate. That's nowhere near a soulmate. That is a twin of you. It's like a replica, you know, like a mirror. Yeah, the yes, soulmate, yes, yes. Soulmate is coming. It's very similar to you with the eye vibration. 
Yes, uh, yes. I, I, I had that knowing about it. And, and this soulmate was a higher level soulmate who always competed with my twin, deliberately compete whenever we incarnate here. Right. Mm -hmm. And I actually told my twin that uh, I have to apologize ahead of time because you're going to have competition. Because um, this guy has a tendency to do this every time I incarnate and whenever my twin is here. I just know this, but I do not know who he is or even know anything about this guy who's coming. So when you're telling me this, this is a confirmation. So what does that mean? Is that if he's if he's in my level, I don't know, but we've got to go on to the next. <laughs> <laughs> but it's interesting. We're not going to analyze so that here right now. Thank you so much for the reading. <laughs> I love you. I love you <laughs> Let's not analyze that here. <laughs> <laughs> this is not love lover's corner here. <laughs> All right. All right. Who's, who's next? next? Um, I know I, I'm I'm on an echo. I don't know why. Carrie's next. Carrie. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hello. How how long have you had your ankle problem? Um, I had it for a couple months. It just got worse and then it started in September and then was only the right foot and now it's the left foot and it's been a couple months. And there's no reason for it, it's just come up. Um, well, I, I work on my feet all the time for 21 years and they thought I had tendinitis and it turned into something else and they didn't even, it, nobody even knows what it is. And I've been to so many doctors and they can't even tell me what, what's wrong with me. There's something on her spine causing it. I'm gonna have that um, test. It's a nerve test and they tell you if you have something out in your spine. Well, I'm Literally. telling you, it's something on your spine. Rick just scanned her. It's on her spine. Really? You should, f you should feel the energy. If it's a, a nerve, it's out of line or something, you might feel it moving. So. Have you had the lollipop? That's what? Uh, that? Lollipop is um, the uh, shots that people have gotten for certain flus. No, I don't get any of those shots. No, no vaccines, no flu yeah, shots. Yeah, no, we, we can't say that word in it. Um, yeah, that's why we call it the lollipop. We can't say oh, that word. Or they, oh my or they God. take us off. Oh, oh, off. lollipop, lollipop. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry. Yeah, that you sorry. know, they're the one they have three shots now or four. I understand. Yeah, I didn't get one lollipop. Good. Right. Just checking. Can you guys heal me now? We're doing it now. Yeah, we're doing it. You'll feel you'll feel some energy going through you. You may or may not, but. And my feet will work again, I can walk. She has, um, you have some discs that are um, bulging in your back. You also have um, pinched nerve in your back. You have, it looks like a, a cyst of, or something. It's a, a, some kind of round swelling in your back. It's like, it's pinching on a nerve. It looks like a cyst or a, like a tumor of some sort that needs to be taken care of. It's on your lower back that could be causing, because it's pinching on a nerve, it could be causing the swelling. Because my back never doesn't hurt. It, your back doesn't have to hurt. Yeah. Okay, okay. All your nerves go through your spine. So that nerve test next Saturday will tell me, I tell me nerve, that? Your nerve that it could or couldn't. Depends on the, the, the doctor. I'm telling you, this is what's causing it. We can see, I can see my husband. Yeah, yeah. I the, can the see your body. The problem is we're trying to eat it, so yes. it might be okay next week. Right. <laughs> but we can't prove anything, but that's why. Please heal it. You have an aching neck now and again. Um, not too bad. Hmm. See, it. I can tell it's a cyst because it's clear. The only way for anyone to see this would be an ultrasound. On my back? And then your lower back. It's a cyst. Let me feel, feel some. You can feel them. Tingling? Is that what you're going to say? Yeah, tingling or <laughs> vibration in your back. You may feel something, maybe even warmth. I see it, your feet. And yeah, how do you feel? Do you feel anything? Um, just a little relaxed, but nothing. My feet are still, my ankles are still hot and painful. Do you think we made progress? When you say your feet feel hot, have they always felt hot? My ankles are, feel hot and burning. Did they feel hot and burning before? Um, yeah, especially yeah. the right one, more. A lot of times when you heal it, it will feel up, by the way. That's what I'm trying oh, really? To say. Yeah, that's yeah. part of healing. You'll They'll feel hot when we're yeah. healing them, too. Because um, the right one's worse. I don't know why. But they were hot before when they hurt. Yeah. Mm, that's hard to tell when you're healing. I but I feel a little warm in my back, a little warm. Yeah, well, that's part of the healing, too. Yeah. 
but the pain hasn't gone away? Not in my foot, not in my ankles. Oh, maybe a little on the right one. It might be one of them where you need to walk and test it, I think. Yeah. The healing tape is get the healing it carries on for a few days anyway. Yeah, it takes it, it stays for seven days to healing. Yeah. Oh really? Oh yeah. I stays with the you. healing. Please God heal my feet. Please heal my ankles. Please. I have faith in this miracle. Yeah. yeah. Well, our healing works. I mean, it, it's it's always up to the individual. Um I'm open to the healing. I welcome it. The next 24 t- day or two will tell the tale. If it's if it's um if it doesn't get healed, then you're meant to. Unfortunately, that you asked for this experience. I did. Well, I said, <laughs> if it doesn't get healed, you asked for this experience. This is part of your experience. So, I mean, I all of us have um, asked for certain experiences, illnesses on this planet. You know that really? we're on. in this lifetime. Sure, we ask for illnesses. Of course, how are we supposed to experience life here? I know, but I'm I'm really been really depressed and in pain. And I don't, I don't understand why I, I would want this. And why, do, why do people, some, some people ask for four different cancers. Why did they ask for that? I mean, they're angelic beings. They didn't even know they were angels until, you know, they came to see us and, and I explained to them, you know, they, as an angel, they came here to experience being human. I mean, a few months ago, my life was so normal and I had all my friends around and work and great. And now I'm just sitting at home, looking at the wall by myself. But why? Why is this stopping you? I can't walk, and my friends come to visit here and there, but I can't walk. I'm in pain. It, the, I, but I, the pain I, stops I, you. From, hold on. The pain stops you from walking. Yeah, I can't. If I walk, I, it's more in pain. Get so up and I stand. Put, can you stand up right now and tell me that whether you're you can move? I mean, I if I walk at all during the day, then I pay for it at night, and I I can't get out of my house. And yeah, but I'm picking up. I, a past life for you actually yeah I'm, I'm, I'm picking up a memory what happened a past life uh it was a battlefield like a medieval battlefield something happened to your legs your ankles so what i'll do is i'll connect to your soul roots you know the memory part. i see I'll it i see try, it i'll try and clear it, it i'll try and clear it this could be a memory your age in another life that somehow you died in agony with you with your ankles or your back connected. So I see it. So what what I'm doing is I'm going to that life and I'm going to repair, bring back your soul fragment, send it to your over soul with love and clear it that way. And that might just help everything. Did you feel anything then, Carrie? Uh, no. Not not too much. Okay. Well, a lot, a lot of work's been done. What you've got to watch is that your stress memory stress and feed any memory pain you get what i mean just go around it go ground yourself yeah you what do i do ground, do you know what grounding means to ground yourself oh into the into the earth yes yeah yeah, yeah. woodlands or river best place like a, so a what river. he did what he did was he went to a he went to that past life where you you're you were actually tortured okay. um and removed that or corrected the memory so that um your feet and the injury, your injury to your feet and your back yeah. should now be gone. So your feet should be better. You're healed. That was that. It, it, what happened was it happened at this age that you're in now in that lifetime. So it brought back that lifetime. The energies that we're in now are bringing back all these like old, old, old energies are, are coming up. Yeah. So a lot of people are, are going through this. I'm 54. Well, it, apparently it happened then. So, but you were, I think you, you were a male then. You weren't a female. Right. It was some kind of uh, war going on back. It, it, it was during the, there were nights back then in that time frame. So anyway, you were, you were, it was some kind of battle happening. And I think you were captured. It looked like she was, cap, he was captured, but there was some kind of torture going on. I saw what he was seeing. So um, when I don't, I'm not sure exactly. You you healed her, her over soul. You brought the the fragments of your soul. I repaired the fragments of that. Yeah, soul repaired the fragments that. right yeah. of that soul, and so that that way that the memories from that is causing this this injury. This this should all go away. It should all go away. How long does it take? Good question. <laughs> is there anything I need to do to forward it? Drown yourself. Drown yourself. Drink plenty of water. Yeah. Drown myself into the earth. Oh, near a stream or in a woodland. 
Yeah, I don't know where. Oh. Where do you Where do you live? I'm in Orange County. Where are you guys? Oh, you're in Cal. I'm in Arizona. He's in the UK. Oh wow. So um, we're you're in Orange County, California. So yeah, you've got water. Go to the ocean. Best place to go. Stick I've been here feet. 21 years, or a lot of. I've been at the same job 21 years and never had an issue, and now this. What else can I do to get rid of it? No, you you've done. It's gone. I'm telling you. Just know that it's gone. Try it's and gone. not. Yeah. It's gone. Try and not manifest it back. No. Like no. Keep no. on overthinking about it. No. No. Yeah. No. It's it really gone. is gone. He, 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 this should, this should have done it. It should be, it's gone. I mean, I believe it's yeah. gone. The, the only problem is the brain can try and manifest it back. I believe it's gone. Yeah. I believe it's gone. I believe it's gone. Yeah. yeah. I believe it's gone. That was the only thing causing it because it, there's nothing medically. Well, you think there's no yeah. system attack. Yeah, we, we repaired that. You repaired that? Yeah, we repaired that. It's gone. Okay. That's gone, and then the memory's gone, and I should be healed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Be a few days of it gradually get that. Oh, oh, it takes a couple of days sometimes. Yeah, sometimes just 20, 20, 24 days. dollars, 24 dollars, 24 dollars, 24, 24 hours. <laughs> I'll give you 24 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> 24 hours, really? Yeah. But we have said the healing takes, you get it for seven days. Several days. That energy stays with you. Our energy stays for a week. So it's oh, always in your body. Yeah, it's always there in yeah. the oh. next week. Oh, awesome. What else? Tell me about it. I'm excited. Miracle. Yeah. We're on <laughs> Facebook. You want to connect with us? Um, it's, yeah. We're at Heal Teach Love on Facebook. Our names are there. Philip, uh, we have another group. What's the name of it? Um, what's the other group name that we have? What? The, the other group that we have. <laughs> Teaching. We're on global. We're on global. Global teaching and healing. I can't remember. I can't and, remember. I, I can't it's remember. My group. <laughs> you guys do, other, do I? Do you think I'll need another healing? No, because I'm healed now, right? You yeah. should global. not. You should not. not global light work. Global, global light workers healing and teaching. Healing teaching and key codes, which is a very long word, but you can find Philip Barrow and. Uh, Deb Purcell and Rick Purcell on Facebook. We're all there. I, I think you just joined me on Facebook. I, I joined it, right? Because I got in here, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you want two oracle cards, angelic advice on the healing? Yeah. If you say stop, I'm giving you. What's that? Say the word stop. Just say stop. Oh, say stop. Oh, stop. Stop. Uh, basically, what it's saying is you need an holiday to get your power back. A holiday? Yeah, a retreat, yeah. a holiday. So a holiday? To get, you need to recoup your energies. I do. Yeah. I do. Uh, so you need a break. I um, do need a break. You know, and when you when you get depressed, you're giving your power away. There's no reason to be depressed. Really? De your name's Deb, right? Yeah. Deb? Yeah. Um, I I feel like I can't help it. The you've also you've also got the power of creative inside you. So if you just probably need a break, it's probably telling you you need a break as well well i've been home two months i don't know what else i mean to do. i mean a proper break oh being i know oh being home is not a break <laughs> no i do and, and the minute i can walk walk and have no pain i'm gonna get that holiday mm -hmm. and that's gonna be now right yeah right deb yep yes but don't don't let something like this put you in a depression yeah yeah this is the, you're giving that depression is what when you give your power to somebody else well deb i'm used to being around people all day long every day and going on walks and now i'm just sitting at home so um i'm trying to get out but it just hurts when i get out they go inside that's where your power is your tool chest and your power is go inside don't let don't let something physical yeah take your power away don't let something that attacked your body yeah take your power away you're, no, you're right. You're giving it away by, by saying, okay, I give up. I'm Because I'm stuck in this house and I can't walk. Yeah. Is this the, is this the end of the world because you can't walk and, and, and you're in pain? Yeah. Breathe through it and you don't let that, it's something like this. You know, you're not disconnected to God because you can't move or you can't walk. You're right. God, every breath you take, you're connected to creator. So what's the message to go inside? The message, the message is from creator saying to you, yeah, so we're not disconnected. You're tell you're 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 letting you're letting everybody else tell you you're disconnected or 
I'm depressed because I can't see anybody. I'm not around people. I'm not, yeah. I'm not being, I'm not being stimulated. Right. Maybe it's time for you to learn how to stimulate yourself and how to, you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't need other people to make you happy. Mm, that's a good one. That's a really good one. I've just been around people my whole life until now. <laughs> I came from a big family. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Especially sometimes, if the some, nice. sometimes you 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 need to entertain yourself and put some music on that you really love or meditate. Or get oh, I have been doing healing meditations like crazy every day. Healing meditations. Maybe it wasn't time for you to heal until now. Yes. Please let it be time for me to heal now. <laughs> but yeah, maybe you weren't supposed to. Maybe you needed this two months. A little tip uh, for anyone who's got pain. I had, I broke my ankle last year and tore me Achilles. Achilles is the worst tear you can ever do. And I just carried on. I didn't even go to the hospital for six weeks until the pain was, I remembered it was still there. I went to the hospital, they were baffled how I could do it. I just closed the pain off in the head, just closed it off and it can be done. So it's for anyone who's got pain, really? your brain, you can program your brain to say, I don't want to feel it. Just turn it off. Turn it off? Yeah, turn it off. But, Obviously, we've done healing on you, but I just wanted to mention that. So oh, I had a, I remember I had a broken ankle, torn yeah, Achilles, and I got in my car, I drove, did the brakes and the clutch, went to work six weeks before I even had uh, an x-ray. Oh, my God. So, wow. Yeah. And the, the doctors wanted to be going the next day because they wondered how I could do it. <laughs> so, wow. That's they just wanted to see it. They just wanted to see it. That's incredible. Really. I even I even taught judo for a few weeks. Wow. <laughs> so, oh. There you go. I've got to turn off the pain. Well, it's already gone, right? Gone. Yeah. It's yeah. Gone anyway. But I just wanted to mention that. But that's that's interesting. It yeah. Can be turned off. Turned off from the brain. <sighs> All right. So now we have Susan. kitty cat. Hi, kitty. Hi, we kitty, have, kitty. We have a kitty. We have a kitty coming next after Hello. Susan. Oh, we okay. do. <laughs> yes, you have Hi, my granddaughter's kitty Susan. that needs to be healed. Thank you. I love kitty cats. Yeah, so do we. We lost two this week. Damn. Um, Your little ones? Two of ours, yes. And now we oh, have I'm a, sorry. my granddaughter's is now sick, though. And Oh, my gosh. Oh. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> what are we doing? I'm sorry. Thank you. You're welcome, really. Mm. No Rick, said, Rick doesn't want to talk about it because he's upset. He's still here. Yeah, I don't. Well, of that. course, they're like children. Yeah, they're like children. One was almost twenty, so we had him a long time. Aww. Aww. Yeah, no. Nice. Twenty-one. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Okay, Susan, what's going on, darling? Well, everything's really good for the most part, but that pain in the back piece is still happening. And um, Obi scanned me and said I had an entity on me. Who's so Obi? I was like, Obi is, um, he's a spiritual, he's a spiritual um, shaman. And he said that I do. And it's interesting because I, I feel good. I mean, I'm seeing purple energies out of my eyes. <laughs> I'm having the same experience that Victoria talked about. I saw, I saw, but I saw Jesus today in the sun. Like it was pretty mind blowing. Like she said, God, and I saw Jesus. So very similar. And um, we see Jesus all the time. Yeah, right. So beautiful. Like I never realized how big he was. Whoa. <laughs> like, he, he's so big. I was like, oh my God, it's beyond my mind. You yeah, know, we were a lot taller too as a human race. Yeah. It's just, when you're a human, though, you're like, holy moly, but it's so beautiful. And then about a week and a half ago, my hands and my feet, like, in the middle of the night just started shooting energy out so hard that it was hurting but it was like i felt like a star exploding so i feel good i don't know where this entity is that he's talking about you, you don't will you look in my eyes because <laughs> i was like where is this entity that's trying to harm me i don't know but my back hurts so that's the only thing i can think of and by the way um i'm in la too so reach out to me tell her we're friends and we're friends. So everybody that's in LA, reach out. Let's do a beach day. Okay, put your, open your eyes. Let me see if I can see anything. Sorry, I don't know. It's a, let me, sorry, let me see if I can get, if I can see. Okay, there. No, uh, oh, you're right. I just, it looks. This one? 
Yeah. It, it looks strange bit... to me, right? It doesn't look equal, does it? From what it doesn't look equal. Like almost like I feel like I have a winky eye or something. And it only seems to have happened in the last week or the last few days. You do look like you look like you've got something wrong. There's something you, going on I do? with the right you eye. Do. Yeah. There's do. something going on. And uh, I know, yeah, by the way, there's something. I, I there's do something. know you're Obi, is by the way. I was talking yeah, to him today. Yeah, you know Obi, right? Yeah, yeah I, was talk- I, was like, I was talking to him today. So, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> there, there's something that just it, is it's a, like um, hiding. Right here, yeah? There's something hiding. I thought I saw it today when I was doing a video. But yeah, but see, this thing is not like a human. It's um, sucking energy. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's not human. It's um, How do these things even get in? Like, who lets them in? I don't know exactly what you're talking about. I can see it through my eye. Yeah. It's almost it's, like it's, not, it's, it's taking not, up space. It's not human. Is that what the purple light is? I literally see a purple light on the ground and on the wall, and I don't know which eye it's coming from. Well, yes, and it's trying to fool you like the, it's, the, it's the violet flame. It's trying to fool you. What is it? It's like a violet purple, but it's lighter and it's iridescent. Do you think it's jumping in through the sun? No. Well, there's a okay. portal. The sun has a portal. Yeah, that I I saw the portal behind the sun. No, it's in the sun. It's not behind the sun. It's in the sun. Well, it feels like it's in the sun, like a black hole. That's what I saw. Do you think it's coming through the through that portal? No. Okay. It's here on the earth. Okay. You got a nice aura field, though, Susan. Thank you. I'm having fun with my heart. Thanks, gold and energy, actually. Mm, yeah, some really beautiful stuff. I'm telling you, I burst it into a star. <laughs> I was like, I just entered my star face. Has your has your foot bothered you? Mm, sometimes it kind of go comes and goes, like at the Achilles Hill part. Because you've of. got a tracking device in there too, so they're tracking you. Son of a monkey. I what know. the heck? Why? Why is this even allowed? I because just you're worth it. it. You're very powerful. They want Thank to you. keep track of you. No, it's something in my, in my back. Something going on in the back of my neck. So they. Yeah, the, it's like the back there. Like I literally have been creating balls of energy spheres, and I'm plugging it into my body to try to gather, like get a hold of whatever they're trying to mess with. Should have put it in my eye. No, it's in your eye because that's where your soul energy comes. Mm. Eyes to your soul, so it's feeding mm. off your energy. It's, it's like there's some, there, there's something going in down the back of her neck. Yes, it's They're killing me. me. It hurts so bad. They're giving me the pain. pain. The pain is horrible. And then even on my left butt cheek, like right above yeah. that yeah. middle part inside. Yeah. They're giving me but, the same pain. So you're describing mm-hmm. it, not, and it's I'm so hurting sorry. me. I'm okay. so sorry. <laughs> Oh God, you don't want this pain. It's crazy. Like it hurts so bad. I've been doing salt baths and um, and my work in the salt bath, hoping that that will help. She's got these boxes of things in her that they're, that's where they're like, they're, they strategically put these things in you where they're, that's where they're taking energy from you. So you've got them on, above your butt on each side and Got some in your neck. Mm-hmm. Oh. Like crazy pain. Like, yeah. I keep I shooting so little much. spheres of golden light for me to try to get them, but it doesn't seem to be. It affects them for like maybe well, like a few thing, minutes. This thing that is in your eye is is what's controlling them, and actually, this thing can come out and it actually is a very large creature. That is it coming through the astral plane? Part of. It's part of Earth. It's a creature from this planet. So they're, they walk amongst us. They can change their looks any way they want to change them to. What I've been seeing a lot of, Deb, uh, this is Paul, is um, lineage traumas, past traumas that were passed down from parents and, and up our lineage stay as part of us. It comes in as our programming as children. And uh, these little holes where hooks can come in are, are left there. Um, and they're low vibrational spaces in our body that came as part of our, in our subconscious before we even could determine some of these things. And, and that's how lower density gets in. And it's it's literally like malevolence that's separated off from somebody that really had a really hard time with some trauma. When the person died, that malevolence kind of stayed and it's self-sustained by its hooks into other people. And I'm seeing a lot of that uh, where we just got to kind of 
recognized that that may be there and and then kind of said in love to ourselves and and heal up those attachment points it's not purposeful it's not conscious even um if you had a traumatic past or things like that it those it can come in through those spaces our self doubts and our worries uh, other things have you had one what are, mm-hmm. are you referring to me mm-hmm. have you had a traumatic past oh i've or definitely had oh for sure oh i've had a traumatic yeah for sure i've come across all kinds of interesting beings along the way i mean for sure i've been attacked by demons i mean some crazy stuff that But attached to humans you, you know susan that you have a council and you can call them into accountability and counsel i whenever they show up for me and i they've been happening a lot lately i just imagine there's like a prisoner box that's a plexiglass space where the energy that's trying to express and then all the people that goes into one box and all the people that have been affected and all the energy they've stolen are in the other box and you're basically standing witness to uh allow this malevolence to go back to the light because they're they're just trying to they're lost they're like children without parents is what the way i see them and we just basically hold them accountable and and show what the event was in the in the prisoner box or whatever and then the council will will send them back to the light and and release all the energies and the traumas and it can be a very healing experience if if you allow it for yourself and and then your family because often it goes all the way up to your mother your father wherever it first happened it can be way 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 back so you might not even re- recognize the incident that caused it yeah i did all that work and and even went through just even from the human aspect from the collective i've i've done all that work like i've done that work years ago like in the last few years like i got the understanding that i needed to um do all the work that you're speaking of and i've definitely done it and i don't feel um i don't feel the need to judge anyone i don't feel the need to because once that clears you don't feel that way like you're not absolutely you're, you know the brain still has its own activity but you know that everything's aligning to love for me so that's Beautiful. even all those situations that went on like i've absolutely forgiven every part of that situation i don't i'm not holding on to any of it well i i'm not saying that or whatever i'm just saying that there's little fragments that got tangled up with other things and they're all showing up in these kind of crazy ass ways to to just keep getting sent to the light so that it's all Are you are you seeing that on me or are you referring to it on something I mean, I'm I'm um, speaking of my experience I'm just okay, saying gotcha. uh if if that resonates with you at all um just keep there's so much running around in the field that is just trying to escape or or be healed because they're going crazy from not being able to have enough energy just keep sending them to the to that prisoner box and the council will figure everything out it's not anything we have to heal there's just so much lost energy is is all i'm feeling yeah the only thing that i don't agree with is what, everything you're saying i agree with i just don't agree with sending anyone to a prisoner box like the divine father has been very clear that he knows all his children and what's going on my job is to stay focused in on where my mind's at where my heart's at and how um i'm only supposed to stay focused on what what i'm doing and not to to send I, I anyone agree. anywhere because I just I don't want to do that. We're really in my experience we're we're holding accountable like all this stuff where we're taught to love and light everything it just it makes acceptable some of the behaviors that have been malignant or malevolent where we're just holding them accountable so we're presenting what harm we felt or whatever the energy was or whatever and just putting it in front and we're not dealing with it at all they're just transmuting it and there's a lot of transmission and and alchemy that has to happen right now and just giving that opportunity to say this is not okay with me something funny's going on we can't even unwind it sometimes it's so tangled mm okay so just, I will definitely thank you for that Paul I didn't think to do that but uh I it'll will all work out in the that. end they they can see everything yeah. we can't we're we're messed up by our past experience or anger or maybe forgiveness i'm not saying anything about you but at least in my case is that's what i saw and I, i had to just keep sending holding counsel so that this could be resolved because something's off is all i can say nobody's bad nobody's whatever mm-hmm. just something's off it's all all i see is lack of love the only thing that we're all moving towards so you know the human i'm responsible for one human and that's me <laughs> <laughs> I, I have my my assignment is me and um and 
I honor that everyone else's assignment is their own. And, Absolutely. Um, and I and and I'm not here to you know I'm not here to judge. No. I, I just see them as all children that kind of got lost along the way and they didn't have a parental energy to hold them accountable. And all I'm doing is is just presenting it in the space where mm. that can be loved or whatever's mm. needed to to transmute those energies so that they can feel loved in whatever mangled up space was creating that level of malevolence or that much pain that could never be healed in their lifetime kind of thing. Sometimes it just needs to be held accountable. Yeah. And that's the council does that. I don't do any of it. It's just yeah. uh, an opportunity for it to be brought into the light. And sometimes you need people on the witness stand to heal for all the people that is going on to say, this isn't acceptable. I'm seeing some funny business. And you just put it out there and they'll figure it out. That makes sense. Point. That makes sense. I have not been doing that piece of it because I'm like, nope, that's not mine. And I just redirect. But maybe that's why this is coming about. What do you think, Philip and Deborah? I, I think it's sorted now. <laughs> but you, yeah. can, you scan, can you scan that? I, well, I think it, well, it was definitely a negative energy that um, doing it. Um, I don't think it's from the lineage. I think this is. No, this no, time. I don't think it is. It, it's definitely something that they're trying to stop you from doing good. I, I was creating a spiral halo around you. And it was sucking. Mm -hmm. Normally, it burns it on fire, but I've reprogrammed it so it sends it to source because that's oh, what beautiful. I should be doing. Thank you. No, for that. Normally, I rather just burn them out, but they get reborn as consciousness, don't they? But if you can yeah. send them back to source, it's all the better, isn't it? So. It is the better. You know, I want everyone to to move towards love. I just do, and yeah. um, and that's where I stand. And and I I don't. I, I don't even know what I want to say. I guess I want to say that we're when it's all said and done, we all originate from the same the same source, and we do. And that's what I choose to hold as my sacredness for myself, and I hold it for all others. So I'm sorry that they keep jumping in, and I keep coming running to you guys and saying, "Please help me." I was like, "Please." No, that's all right, help but me. you know, Paul, and, and you know, you, Paul. You got, Paul you got has, many people out. are going through what Paul has. has explained though and, and he's right too and um absolutely and i've gone through that yeah. process piece especially when you go through the forgiveness piece yeah. to yourself and to others yeah. yeah and um and i've been able to go through that and it's why i can sit in the space yeah. that i'm in in my heart space right now because because i have been able to forgive and then when you realize i've been shown now that every person even the ones you think that have harmed you are really um beings of light as well and it was all purposely happening so you know really we should all just be friends right now like across the board but <laughs> i'm just waiting for that all to happen you know not Even until my yeah not, not until oh, not my the enemies. negative ones are off this off of here they're gone but you know and we'll there's some that want no positive outcome they just want to harm and they're just so lost and that's where my warrior steps up and that's where the that part came from i've had to really step into my warrior and lean into energies that are not nice and uh that's where that came from so uh, by the way thank you paul so much and you know, for sh for giving me such great advice and thank you also for your earlier share um i see that when one heals we all heal yes. so thank you so much for that like your vulnerability was very touching to my heart and at the same time i felt like i was getting healed from what you what you went through like i feel like somehow collectively right now yes. each healing is a healing for us all yes. even though we may not be carrying the piece of that like what you're carrying it may not feel like it's my piece too but then when you heal there's a healing that happens like as if i were carrying it too but i wasn't you know what i mean it's like we all can't it's such a big this is such a big job that we're all you know i really am starting to understand the the piece of how each one of us are doing a piece to this puzzle for one another so we can, you know, come together in love and um, in unity once again. So thank you. You want two cards, by the way? Yes, please. <laughs> Everyone loves the cards. But did, did, Bob, so did Bob do his job and get all the uh, implants? And uh, no, we did it a different way. Okay. I like it. Stop. They they weren't like implants as such. What were, were they? Both stranger. They were strange. Yeah. What they were, were they? They were 
they were implants. They were, but they were no. They were weird ones. But you always bring us some really good stuff. <laughs> I was like, I got lots of. I know they're like they find me. It's crazy. I don't know what is happening. I was like, oh. because you're special. Yeah, I know, I'm special in so many ways. I'm just kidding. Yeah, we're all special. We're all doing what we're here to we do. Are. We are. Mm -hmm. It was a, a strange being on you, and that's why I did the Ava. It's quite a big thing. It's quite strange. It was. I just say oh stop. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Stop. stop. <laughs> Yeah, listening to me saying stuff. Manifestation <laughs> and listening. Oh, yeah. Uh, manifestation. Mm. Yeah, we're, you, you we're manifesting like, yeah. your lottery win right now, Philip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, this listening, you you're, the, the listening is basically confirming that you, uh, no, you're, 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 learning, you're learning to the intuition. Oh, your intuition, you're listening to it. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did you like the lottery win tonight? I actually won twice, but I didn't put the other one up. I know. I was really impressed. Uh, I, I was, was like, wow, he's doing awesome. Win that London yeah. money. Win it. Yeah. <laughs> it's yours. Come, tell exactly. it to come your way. Cannot miss you. Some I'm, years I'm ago. I'm trying to do the, the American version. A few, Rick's, a few, Rick's gone to get the kitty cat for me. Yeah, yeah. a few yeah. years ago, someone said to me, when you do it, you've got to be in a really high vibration. You do it just before. And I did all the numbers. And then... I changed two of them because my brain told me to. And if I didn't change them, I would have won 4.2 million. Ah, so, so it's a, a lesson. Always do your first thoughts and do it and don't ignore everything else. Yeah, the um, brain is a tricky is a tricky little beast. In yeah, no, actually, it wasn't 4.2. Lower than that was 3.4 million. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would have been nice too. <laughs> Both I work. I know, yeah. we had the... Deborah, you're here in the States. We had that... Two point something billion dollars, two point five billion. It was insane. I thought for sure me and my group would win it, but we didn't. <laughs> I was like, no. This is Maxine. Oh, Maxine, look at Maxine is in is in kidney failure. Oh, yeah, she won't yeah, eat. Oh, she's beautiful. She's got purple light around her. Why? Yeah, my idea. Oh, some nice white light too. Hi, yeah, She's in the light of you guys. I wish I'm a true Yummy. Oh, she's so loved and she loves you guys so much. She's so sweet. Beautiful girl. Yamaya. Koyana dea. Yeah. Oh, she loves you so much. Chinatu mm. was she. And a beautiful, beautiful girl. Mm. This is my oldest granddaughter's kitty that mm. we're supposed to bring back to her in, in a few weeks. Mm. She feels so loved with you guys, Rick. She's feeling your vibe. I, it's like you guys are all like sun, purple, white, uh, iridescent light energy, silver light energy. Um, she doesn't want to go anywhere. She wants to stay with you guys. She needs the. She needs you guys right now more than anything. Yeah, it's it's um it, we um we we won't meet up with her until like the after the new year, uh, but we're supposed to meet at our friend's house in Birmingham, Alabama, because that's um like we can't afford to drive all the way to fort lauderdale plus we have nowhere to stay that we can afford so my um, we have a really good friend in birmingham that um my granddaughter knows really well so they'll meet us in birmingham and stay there for a few days and my great granddaughter who misses her pets very because we have their dog and the cat mm -hmm. um and they can now take them back with them where they live so we've had them since july mm -hmm. And they're both 15 years old. Oh, she needs mm -hmm. to be with you right now, actually. Well, she I just took her, took her to the vet because um, our, you know, we lost ours a couple of days ago. And then the day oh. after, I noticed she said stopped eating. And we were so involved with our two, trying to keep one of them alive. And they both, and um, I noticed she wasn't eating. She was drinking. Mm -hmm. I, know, I saw her drinking water, but I noticed she dropped all this weight. And she was skinny to begin with. And the last year, she took off all this mm -hmm. weight. And um, and I noticed, oh my God, look at how skinny she got. And 
and the poor thing, and then she started sleeping with us right the night before our cats were put down. But she was in bed with all of us. And I was like, wow, she's brave. <laughs> Why <did> she <laughs> because my girl, our girl cat was, was, was like, never would let her sleep with us, but they were all in bed with us that night. Okay. Mm. She loves you so much. I don't think she's supposed to go back with anyone. I think she needs you guys right now. She needs that. She needs your high vibration. It feels good to her spirit right now. Mm. Yeah, she's so feminine. Yes. She's so sweet. Like her energy is like yummy. Little, she's like she feels like a little girl with you guys. Yeah, she sleeps next to me now. But she would ever mm -hmm. since she's been here, she followed me around everywhere I go. She would follow mm -hmm. me everywhere. Yeah, she. I don't think uh, she would do um, well yeah. with anyone right now, but you guys, because it isn't about uh, fixing her. It's about where she can best feel safest in her vulnerability. Yeah. What I'm hearing, she's feeling. She needs she needs that light around her like well my granddaughter's full of light yeah um, forgive me i don't mean that okay. that has nothing to do with me this is yeah. this is her choice not mine yeah. <laughs> i have no opinion <laughs> i'm just telling you what i saw yeah if you could see her with my granddaughter though mm. that's her oh my god is that her it, love oh yes she feels safe with you guys though i'm gonna tell you right now she feels yeah. like she, she she knew goes, me because I used to stay there when my granddaughter when yeah. my great granddaughter was born. I um, stayed with them a lot, and I was you know the dog and cat were always with me then too. And they yeah. so they they remember me. They, that's why they're safe with me. Yeah, she's so, so precious. I, you guys are lucky to have her right now. She's a gift. Yeah. I just don't want her not making it. You know, the, 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 my great granddaughter. I mean, she's been crying for her, her cat and dog. Yeah. And she's nine yeah. and she's only known life with them. I just yeah. at least want her to have the last few years with them, you know? Yeah. I but oh. <laughs> I, live, timing is the cats live longer than nine than fifteen. They years. can. They can live to twenty one, you know? They can live as long as they want to. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. But sorry. you know, like um she understands light language, it's fun to communicate with her. Of a precious soul. Where'd she go? Uh, right under me. She's under you. Oh, okay. She's, she's still gonna, in the room. She's still in the room. Going, yeah, she's not going to go far. She can start eating. Yeah, I was, she's not going to go far. She's she not going to eat. I have all this special food for her with medicine. and. Yeah, she's missing the other cats as well. That was the other thing I heard. She's Which is funny because she hated them. <laughs> you know, we think we hate something until it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, oh damn! I really like that. <laughs> you know, and then that night before, they're all in bed together, which was, mm. and I was like, okay, really? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, can we stay in the bed too? <laughs> Kitty bed. He's like taking over. I'm so sorry that your loss of your children. Oh they feel God. like they're still in the house, though. It's crazy. It wouldn't surprise I guess you, me. I see one standing up. Like I see one standing. You know how they sit and they put their little paws. I see one standing up still so i believe they're still with you guys i don't think rick just said harley harley on. that would be harley. Is that who it is yeah he's a black and white tuxedo oh, cat uh this one is not black and white this one is uh tan not tan forgive me it's like uh the gray Calico? darker color yeah exactly. well that yeah. would be the female that would be Phoebe. yeah it's a girl mm -hmm. yes that's why i see it doesn't mean the other one's not there i'm just saying that's why i see well she would be the one that she would she would she would be the one that's very possessive of him. Oh, <laughs> <Poor Rick. laughs> the girls just oh, love that. you. She's very very possessive. She didn't want anybody near him. Oh yeah, I see. I, that's who I saw. I saw her sitting, standing, like sitting, and you know, like when when you command that space, the cat commands yes. the space. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the calico I didn't see. I mean, sorry, the the black and white tuxedo black and white. I did not see. Mm -mm, I didn't see that. He was the oldest one. He was the tw almost 20 year old. Yeah, I didn't he see was, that. I just saw the um, girl. She was 15, the same age as these two. Yeah, but she may be staying to watch over Rick mm -hmm. in the house. You know, sometimes they. My mother, leave. my mother is my angel, and she said that um, she had them with her. Aww. She said I used to play with them at night. They know me. Oh, of course, your mom's an angel. Of course she is. Yeah, of course she is. 
Anybody else? No, I think that's it. That is it. Katie, um, was Katie here? Katie, did you want anything done? She's she's here, but I, she didn't put anything in the chat. Or do we take care of Katie? We we mm. we took care of Katie. That was Katie earlier, or what? No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I I uh, only dead knows. I went to the funeral on Friday and got food poisoning. But afterwards, <laughs> that was quite good. Oh, like no. a detox. Like a detox. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, we oh tried my to god! What what did you eat? That uh, let's not uh, even talk about. It. I'm sorry, I don't mean uh, to. Uh, it was some. It was it was food oh, poisoning. Yeah, it was chicken mm. actually. I chicken. knew you were going to chicken because that's I the first thing meat. that makes me. I shouldn't eat. I shouldn't eat meat. Should I? Yeah. You want me to? Um, how did you want to close the, out the um healing event? I think if we all uh, ground ourselves and close our eyes and then. Imagine that, well, let's have an halo above us sending Christ conscious 22nd chakra platinum ray into all our structure. And as it goes down, it goes down to the ground. So anything that we've picked up on this webinar goes all the way down. So it's going through all the chakras, going from the crown, third eye, throat, going down to the heart chakra, then the solar plex, then the sacral, then the root chakra, all the way down to the floor and then just give it a few big breaths and then that's it and we're back again i wasn't too quick was it you want Wilma to do some light language and close it out thank you thank you ndorish nara ki yara to na ha tere e nya shakhwan dar nya hawa sohna aritia ndare e kya shash na hawa ta na hiata e khetene era to na haite ana hasho hina hawa ta na ya hate e ya ta hai ana ta ka Oh, I think that might have been dragon. Oh. I have um, the ancestors. Hey, <laughs> なかなかとそうなりてあるからねきゃんとだかしなきゃんとやたてけしなかやなきゃんといなけしなりきゃんてしにてやなあやけらなこれとこならしなあるきゃんとそうなりてあんなれしよならやなやそれてやなあれて
uh, to take uh, the kitty and the doggy to our granddaughter. So it'll probably be late uh, next month for our webinars. Um, just to let you, give you a little heads up, it'll be middle to the end of the month that we will be scheduling these. So, but we will have them and I will, it'll be FYI. I want to give you a heads up. So we'll see you next week. Thank you for everything, everybody. We Thank love you. you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Rick. Thank, Thank you, Phil. Thanks, Dave. Awesome. Much love Thank to everyone. Um, Thank love you, you for everyone. Thank you. It was a great day. It was. Bye. Bye. See you later. Take care. Oh.